What's going on guys and welcome to episode 4 of Universe Mode Coming live from Monday Night Raw guys We have an exciting lineup for you guys tonight We're going to be kicking things off here in a little bit With Los Lotharios versus the Viking Raiders To see who's going to clinch a spot in the Tag Team Championship match at Money in the Bank Later on we got Alexa Bliss versus me and him Without any further ado, let's get the tag team tournament underway. Garza finding himself in yet another championship opportunity. We're not sure how he weaseled his way into this one, but if you guys remember for episode 2 of Universe Mode, he was a part of the Fatal 4-Way United States Championship match and put on a very good showing, losing to Rey Mysterio as he wasn't the one pinned though, as Cesaro was the one pinned. But he finds himself in another championship qualifier match. But he has a tough task ahead of him. The Viking Raiders are no joke. Former Raw Tag Team Champions. Former NXT Tag Team Champions. A dominant force. And they're looking to make their impact here on Monday Night Raw. It would be pretty big if the Viking Raiders had clinched their spot in the Money in the Bank Championship. But they have a tough task ahead of them as the Los Lotharios are no joke as well. Two very good wrestlers. <laughs> Believe it or not, Humberto and Angel are actually cousins in real life. So, you know, the tag team has a very strong bond. But I would not sleep on the Viking Raiders. These two men, very, very powerful, can be very deadly in the ring. And they are a very good tag team. Can't wait to see things kick off. On Monday Night Raw as we are getting closer and closer to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view which will also be our very first pay-per-view here in Universe Mode but here we go kicking things off and Garza went right after the referee oh my god so let me go check on the referee Garza just out of nowhere it looked like he hit a bank statement on the referee the referee is up now though looks like he is okay but no need for Garza to do that to the referee as now he is getting double teamed. <laughs> Early control for the Viking Raiders. You would hate to see it if you're Humberto and Carlito. You do not want to see them get full control here as Garza is in some problem as the Viking Raiders are looking to stay on top. Oh, big reversal coming out the top rope and he's going to hit him with an axe handle pump hand slam. And I am pretty sure I just messed up that move, but we're going to keep moving forward. As we see Carlito trying to make some moves here. With the backboard, how big would it be for these two young men to get their shot at the Tag Team Championships? Want to represent Raw at Money in the Bank. Garza slipping out of it, but once again hitting another reversal. Garza are going back and forth with Eric. As he's going to set him up. Oh, with the crushing knee to the back for Angel Garza. Once again, showing you why he wants to be a top competitor here on Monday Night Raw. Showing why he was well deserving for that draft pick. And now Humberto Carlillo and Angel Garza seem to have complete control. As he's going to go back on top one more time. This could be very, very risky. Humberto Carlillo in the corner. Garza with the drop kick from the top rope as they now seem to be in complete control. Ivar trying to look on to get on the offensive, but here, but Carlillo once again. Smooth reversal. As next week, these tournaments are going to continue as next week is the last week before our Money in the Bank pay-per-view. That's going to be an exciting pay-per-view. Cannot wait for you guys to see that one. we got a lot going to be going down in that pay-per-view. We're going to be crowning a lot of new champions for the first time ever here in Universe Mode. As you know, Rey Mysterio has already clinched his first championship in Universe Mode with that United States Championship a few episodes ago. As Eric right now looks like he's trying to get complete control of Garza. But Garza once again going to hit the reversal. Ivar outside the ring. Him and Carlito are going at it. As now he looks at double team Garza. Hopefully this is a tornado tag team elimination. Which means if you get pinned or submitted. 
you do get eliminated. And at that point, it could become a 2v1. So both these teams know that if someone was to get eliminated from this match, they would have the upper hand. It would be pretty much a handicap match from this point forward. As both of the tag team tournament qualifier matches, the one you will see next week, will also be an elimination uh, match style base. As Carlito is going to set Ivar up in the corner, but he took way too long. Garza whipping out Eric. This match is just going back and forth here on Monday Night Raw. Noah wants to give an inch to each other, as you would as expect. This is a number one contenders match. Noah they can clinch shot at the gold. Uh, Eric looks to be moving to move on. Garza outside the ring. Trying to do as much body damage as he can, but once again, Garza with the reversal, as well as Roberto Carlillo inside the ring, taking it to Ivar right now. As he hit the massive DDT. These two don't want to wander too far from the ring because he could tap out right here. He is not in position to break this up. And look at that. Ivar is struggling, fighting, but... Humberto Carlillo just submitted Ivar. It is now a 2v1 versus Eric, the last hope for the Viking Raiders. But if anyone's capable of pulling this off, it would be Eric. He already has red body damage. He has to stay in control. Humberto Carlillo, though, making sure that is not happening. Garza with the kicks to the chest. Things are not looking good. Eric might be, uh, oh no, he's just going to keep on walking. Ivar keeps walking, doesn't interfere with the match. Eric was trying to get on the offensive here, but Garza once again stops him. These two are in complete control right now. You have to only imagine that this could be the end of the Viking Raiders' chances at the gold. Eric's going to need a huge reversal. He's going to have to get one of them down and then just take out the other one. But that looks like it's going to be impossible. As Humberto Carlillo kind of has some friendly fire right there on Garza. As they are moving up the ramp. The pinfalls, I do believe, can happen anywhere. So no matter where they go, this could be huge for Eric. He needs to focus on Humberto Carlillo if he wants to have a chance. He's... Humberto is striking, but he's just now connecting through many of punches right there, but none of them connected as Garza is going to take Eric down. This could be it. Carlillo's kind of breaking up the kick. I don't know what Carlillo's doing right there, but they had the pinfall, and he kept breaking it up with the kicks in the face and the swinging net breaker on Eric. This You can have to imagine this is, this is it. Now they are just wearing him down back and forth. Is getting tag team, and this could be it. One. Oh, only a one count. Eric says it's not over just yet as he's fighting, but now Garza with the backflip. Eric still fighting. Into the barrier he goes. This is not looking good for Eric. He had some momentum right there, but Garza is just going to toss him right back into the ring. Could this be the end? of the Vikings Raiders run here in the tournament. Garza's going to pick him up. He almost gets double teamed. Garza hits him with it. Thought he was going for the pinfall. Not yet. Oh, off the springboard. Humberto Carlillo is ready in case he doesn't kick out. Oh, a two count. Eric has not yet given up, giving them everything. Oh, the weird double team. It kind of connects. Could this be the end for Eric? One, two. Oh, how is that not a three count? Eric is up and still going, but Humberto Carlillo quickly makes shake work of that. And Garza once again looking to end it right here. One, two, and once again, Eric kicks out. Now he's just frustrating the Los Lotharios. As they are doing everything they can. And here comes Eric with a flying forearm. But Humberto Carlillo with the strikes. Eric finally gets a reversal. But now here comes Garza. Doing what he has to do to stop that. This could be the end. Pick up Powerbomb 2. 
And once again, Eric kicks out with a nice reversal. He's trying to take it to Humberto Carlillo right now, but Garza once again interfering with the backbreaker. As Carlillo, ooh, he's actually going to reverse that. But Garza is staying on top of Eric, giving Eric no chance as he has red body damage, red arms. He is in a world of pain right now. Eric not giving up though. Garza was looking to hit that move for the fourth time in this match. Humberto tried his uh, finish. Oh, with a super kick, and that could be lights out. He just kicked the head off of Eric. I'll be shocked if Eric kicks out of this, and actually he's not going to go for the pin. They are just beating Eric down right now. How much more can he take this? Oh, this has to be it. But once again, not going for the pin. At some point, you have to feel for Eric and how much more of a beating he can take. With a nice takedown on Garza, but once again, Humberto Carlillo. The quick strikes, looking to break that up. The DDT. This could be it. Garza kicks Humberto out the way, giving Eric a chance to reverse it. But Humberto Carlillo makes quick work of that. These two are kind of not on the same page, but yet Eric is still getting the beatdown of his life right now. You have to feel for him for the fourth time. This could be it. The referee hits one, two. Oh my God, Eric is just taking everything he can right now. Will not give up. Once again, Garza for the fifth time. One, two, three. It was over. Eric could not fight that any longer. You have to give him props where props are due, though. He he took a beating for the longest time, and every time he tried something, that two-on-one handicap advantage went to Los Lotharios. But you got to give it up to Eric. I'm sure this is not the last time we will see the Viking Raiders as the Los Lotharios clinch their spot in the Tag Team Championship at Money in the Bank. Coming up now, we have Alexa Bliss making her debut on Raw in Universe Mode. She's going to be taking on Mia Yim in a one-on-one -on -one match. Excited to see Alexa Bliss here on the Raw Universe. She's looking to make a splash in the women's division and once again capturing the Raw Women's Championship. She wants to make quick work of Mia Yim here tonight and show why she's one of the best to ever step foot. What is this? Hold on. That's Rhea Ripley. What is she doing out here? <clears throat> Alexa Bliss. She's, she don't even know what's going on. And here comes Rhea Ripley with a chair shot to the back of Alexa. And once again to the knee. And Rhea Ripley is going to take out Alexa Bliss before the match even begins. Like, what was that for? That was completely uncalled for. And we're going to jump right into the main event. We have the Fatal 4-Way Battle Royale for a shot at the championship for the undisputed championship at Money in the Bank. First out is going to be Kofi Kingston and man does he have his work cut out tonight. Former tag team champion, former United States champion, an intercontinental champion and a WWE champion but has to take on the likes of Drew McIntyre tonight in the Battle Royale. And you would have to think the cards are stacked against them as we have Drew McIntyre, Braun Strowman, and also Edge competing in the first elimination tournament for a chance for the undisputed championship at Money in the Bank just a week away. Three powerhouses. Well, I would say two, but when you have a Hall of Famer like Edge that you have to compete against, you have to be on your game. With the likes of Drew McIntyre and Braun Strowman, two giant powerhouses, you have to be on top of your game. And speaking of Hall of Famers, here he comes now. The man himself, the rated R superstar, Edge. Looking to once again claim a world title in his Hall of Fame career. We know the rated R superstar will do whatever it takes to get back to the top, and that's what makes him ex ex extremely dangerous in the ring. But with the likes of the last opponent, 
Braun Strowman. As you know, anybody can catch those hands as he is ready for his shot at a chance for the gold. Can he make quick work tonight and secure a spot at Money in the Bank? You have to feel for Kofi Kingston, but he is no slouch. Kofi Kingston has won championships before. As we are finally underway with the main event tonight. The Battle Royale, and I thought Edge was going over right there. Braun Strowman was looking to make quick work of Edge. As Kofi Kingston is on the offensive against Drew McIntyre. There's going to be a lot going on. I'm going to try and keep track of everything. As Kofi King, oh, Braun Strowman on the edge of the ropes. Edge maybe not looking to take advantage. As he has to jump over Drew McIntyre and connects with the flying elbow to Braun Strowman as Kofi Kingston with the belly flop on top of Drew McIntyre. Meanwhile, Braun Strowman and Edge are going back and forth. This could be Braun Strowman chances, but never mind Edge with the quick reversal. Kofi Kingston with the deadly strikes as Braun Strowman is going to hit him with the DDT. Kofi's going to do the same. And, oh, I thought Braun Strowman was going to get him again, but Edge with a quick reversal. And look at Kofi Kingston giving Drew McIntyre everything he has tonight. Doing everything he has to do. As Drew McIntyre is looking to put that into Kofi. Vicious punches coming out of Drew McIntyre. Huge kicks coming out of Braun Strowman. Kofi with the roll up doing the exact same. And now Kofi wants a piece of Braun Strowman. You have to be insane, but Kofi Kingston staying on the offensive. As all, as, as all four of these guys are putting on a competitive show tonight, Kofi looking to take quick work of Edge, and Kofi Kingston is going to get the first elimination in the Battle Royale, and then double teams Braun Strowman, but this could be it for Kofi, as Drew McIntyre turns and makes quick work of him. But going back to Kofi real quick with the elimination of the Hall of Famer, Edge. Now only two other men he has to worry about as Drew McIntyre is just going to slam him near the corner. If I were Kofi, I would let these two work on each other and then take advantage. But as you see, Drew McIntyre with a swinging neck breaker. Going after Braun Strowman. Drew McIntyre right now has all of the momentum. The Scottish Warrior. Former WWE Champion showing you once again why he is worthy of that title. As he's going to... Oh, we thought he was going to try... Oh, off the rope into the throat of Braun Strowman. We thought he was going to go for elimination. Now might be his chance as Kofi's back up. And Kofi's going to take advantage of Braun Strowman. We thought he was going to go for the elimination. Braun Strowman kicks out of it and Drew McIntyre. Oh, and Kofi with the low blow. Kofi Kingston with the low blow. And now Drew McIntyre is going to showboat like nothing ever even happened. How do you showboat after that? <laughs> but now Braun Strowman going after Kofi Kingston. As he is holding his own tonight very, very well. Now Kofi... Showing off to the fans, he shouldn't have done that because here comes Braun Strowman. Another swinging neck breaker, this time to the hands of Braun Strowman as Kofi comes off the top rope. This could be his time to take advantage, but now both competitors are down. Kofi going to crawl back to his feet. Back and forth, man, this fight has gone. Kofi showing you why you can never count him out as an underdog. He's got the only elimination tonight, and now he's going after Braun Strowman as... Oh, no. Is he going to try and take out Braun Strowman? No, he's just going to throw him into the rope. He might... Well, this could be it for Kofi. As Braun's just going to slam him into the ring. I thought Kofi was going over right there. This could be it for Braun Strowman as Drew McIntyre eliminates Braun Strowman. And is down to Kofi Kingston and Drew McIntyre. If you would have told me tonight that Kofi Kingston would still be competing as the final two wrestlers in the rings tonight, I probably would have laughed at you, seeing how the card was stacked up against him. Spinning heel kick. Kofi going to the top. 
A frog swoop. Ooh. I thought Drew McIntyre got the legs up, but I guess he didn't. But he makes quick work of that. Kofi could be in danger. This could be it for Kofi Kingston. Oh no, he reverses Drew McIntyre. Just when you thought it was over for Kofi. He's not going to do this. Kofi's not going to do this. Oh my god, Kofi Kingston wins the Battle Royale Fatal 4-Way and secures his spot in the championship match at Money in the Bank. Who would have thought that Kofi Kingston can never doubt him as he is now secured a spot in the championship match. Big congratulations to Kofi Kingston. That's going to do it for us tonight on Monday Night Raw.